Hey there, this is Michael Pollack with MichaelDPollack.com and I'm going to show you how to do a WordPress photo gallery. And this is an example of the kind of photo gallery I'm talking about. Um, we've got, uh, looks like nine images here, three in each row, and I'll show you how to put more in each row or fewer in each row. And then I've also got a plugin installed, at least on this site, um, called Easy Fancy Box that gives you this uh, light box effect on your images which is a very cool little uh, cool little effect. So easy, fancy box, um, just install it, activate it, and then I'll show you what you do, uh, what you need to do when you set up the uh, photo gallery to make it work properly. So we're going to just log into our dashboard here. Let's close that. Let's see. I think what I'll do, um, I'll start from scratch here and sort of, sort of create a new post. And um, we'll just call it test photo gallery and then um, what you want to do here is click this add media button right here and there's a couple ways that you can um, insert images you can just upload them from your own computer um, or you can select them from your media library images that you've already uploaded and I'm just gonna pick pick a few from my media library here um, and you just basically click on the images that you want to want to use. Oops, I'm sorry. You have to click this uh, create gallery link on the left here, and then click the images you want to use. And you'll see a little check mark pop up at the top there. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to do 12 images here. And so um, once you've selected all your images, click this Create New Gallery button in the bottom right hand corner. And WordPress is going to give you your, your images here. And if you want to add captions for each image, um, you can do that here. I'm going to take this caption out. You can just kind of drag and drop these things and rearrange them into what, whatever order you like. And then if you're going to use the um, uh, a Lightbox uh, plugin, you want to make sure that this link links to the media file, otherwise you won't get the Lightbox effect. And then you can select how many different columns you want. That's just how many images are in each column. Well, uh, I'm going to use four, at least for this example. So insert the gallery. And if you're using the visual editor in WordPress, this is all you're going to see, just this kind of this big box here. I like to use the text editor where I can actually see the short code that WordPress has created for me. And then um, let's go ahead and publish this or at least save the draft and then we can take a look at it on the site and kind of go from there. So this is the gallery that I created. We've got four images in each column and we do have the cool little light box effect. And again, that's with the Easy Fancy Box plugin. That image is taking a little too long to load. And then um, if you want to put it, if you want to change it to like three images per column or three images per row, you can just change this column here to three. Um, if you wanted to do, to do two, you could do that as well. I think I changed, yeah, three. So um, the good thing about the visual editor as compared to the text editor, if you want to actually go in and change or edit some of the images, the captions on the images, um, you click on this box and you'll see these two little boxes pop up in the corner. You click this left one, which allows you to edit the gallery. And then you can kind of, again, shift these around whatever order you want. You can add captions. You can delete images if you want. Just click the little X. Um, and you can even add to the gallery if you want to do that as well. Uh, let's add a couple back in here. Yeah, so that is a WordPress gallery. Uh, let's save that. We'll take a quick peek at it. And that's it. Good luck.